Thank you. And now for three minutes, Mr. Albrecht. Dear Commissioner, dear colleagues, of course we need to know who is coming into our European Union, our Schengen area. But what do we have for that to do? We have to check the passports. And that's exactly what we are doing. We have a system, the Schengen Information System, which we have information about every suspicious person, if it would work perfectly, every suspicious person, every risk person, and at the borders, at the outer borders of our common Schengen area, there will be checks against every traveler and everyone will be checked. We know who is coming in. If this system would work, we would have no doubt a better secure environment in our European Union. What are we doing? We are not fixing the system which isn't working because some of the member states' authorities are not thoroughly working with the system, feeding into, uh, information to the system. Some of the outer borders, at some of the outer borders, may, maybe the checks are not working, but we are building a, com a completely new database, a database which doesn't focus like the Schengen information system on risky persons, on suspicious persons, but just retains the data of completely irrelevant and innocent travelers. Travelers like business travelers or tourists who are coming to the European Union, we are welcoming them and now are registered for up to four years with their personal data, with sensitive personal data, biometrical data, without any suspicion, without any risk. That is not only unnecessary because of the Schengen information system, it's also not necessary to check visa overstayers. Because if you, if you really want to get track of visa overstayers, you, don't know, uh, don't not, you do not only need to know that there is a visa overstayer, but also where that visa overstayer is. But with this system, you don't get track of any visa overstayer in the European Union. You just know, okay, they didn't, they didn't exit. There is no added value in this system. It will cost 1 billion euros. That's the estimation of a study of this house. It will be an unnecessary collection of much of information about travelers who are completely innocent. And the Court of Justice in July has uh, ruled that the Canadian authorities, in the case of PNR data, are not allowed to retain data of travelers longer for what, uh, for the, uh, than for the time of the traveling into Canada. They have to delete the data after the exit unless there is a risk or the, uh, a suspicion. So what we expect from the Canadian authorities with regard to our citizens, we should also respect with regard to citizens of other third countries like Canada. So we have the proposal to limit the collection of, uh, 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 to, to, to an amount of 181 days, which is the time which every non-EU national can stay in the European Union maximum, and afterwards only on a risk or suspicion. And we hope that we, you will vote in favor of that to make a legal proposal here. Thank you very much.